Hi everyone, welcome to the 17th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about one-hot encoding. So what is one-hot encoding? One-hot encoding is a process through which we convert the categorical numerical columns into Boolean columns, like adding a dummy column. And why do we use label encoding? Well, in order to reduce the weightage that each row is assigned, we use one-hot encoding. So let's see how one-hot encoding, how we convert. First, we convert in the previous example, we have seen how we have converted the normal column to using label encoding from the strings to a number is assigned. And this number now will create a problem when we are going to apply the algorithm. So in order to avoid that problem, we will use label encoding and then we will use one-hot encoding. So see, this is the column which we have used as an example in the previous session. So what, so we have assigned 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the numbers is assigned, right? Now, so, so there are how many categories here? 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, okay, red, blue, green, yellow, black so the very first number is red okay so red will be one the rest everything will be zero now up one zero and here it was again green so zero then we have red right again one zero 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 now after that we have yellow zero 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 for yellow we'll give one and then zero then we have again blue, 0, this will be followed by 1, 0, 0, 0. Then we have a, now green, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Then we have black, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is black. Again black, now we have green, so 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is the way, like ideally, one hot encoding will transform your number into the boolean column so now how do we achieve this through python programming so i will show you that okay so uh, what we have like uh, done in the previous session we have applied uh, the label encoding and the output uh, our feature is being transformed as follows which is shown here this is uh, the output of the features after we have applied label encoding so in order to apply one hot encoding we also have to uh, uh, like uh, import one hot encoder from sklearn.preprocessing which we have already imported now and how do we apply this uh, in terms of code so first of all we have to define the object of one hot encoder Categorical feature is equals to zero, and then features is equals to hot encode bit underscore transfer features dot to a y. Okay, so this is the so, but before applying one hot encoding, we have to ensure which are the columns that in which we need to apply one hot encoding. One hot encoding will be applied in the column in which we have applied the label encoder. Basically, we apply this on the uh, columns which are categorical, numerical as well as categorical. So, the first column is the country. So, we'll apply on it, yes. Second column is A, so it's numerical but it's not categorical, so we will not apply on this. The third column column is gender, we'll apply yes. Fourth, third uh, column is, uh, the fourth column is occupation, which has a value 1 or 0, so we'll apply on that. And then we, uh, we have uh, employment status, uh, in that also we will apply. So, which are the columns in which we need to apply one hot encoding? And also the last column is a salary, which is a categorical as well as numerical. We will not apply one hot encoding in that column. So which are the column as per this 0th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. We need to apply 
who are not encoding. So, the so zeroth column is this. We'll execute this. Now, if you see the value of your features, features will be transformed. So, if you see, my feature initially was four, and this you can see. But now, this each, uh, if you can see, there are five options here from zero to five. So, five columns will be formed: zero, one, two, three, four. After this, will be our age column. The yeah. Sixth column is the age column. Also, if you are not sure, what you can do, df1 one, one dot u so sorry, df it will be df0. So you can see 0, 1, 2, there are for six options. So from 0 till 5 it will come and the sixth column will our be the age column. Now, so the age will be applied on the sixth column, not on the second column. As for this, feature is in the second column, right? But because after applying the category, uh, after applying the one hot encoding, the first column is being divided into the zeroth column, which is the country column, which is divided into six column, right? So from zero till five. So now the next. Uh, one hot encoding will be applied on the sixth column and because six is the age will not apply this so we will ultimately apply it on the seventh column which is the gender column so we'll apply on this now you see the number of features before was 12 now it has increased so So now from this you can see 0 1 we have applied already on the second so 3 the third column here is 1 0 0 0 1 you can see this so the next hot encoding which is the ninth column which is for the occupation is the ninth column so and moreover we have applied it on the second uh, seventh column so seventh column will be like there are two options in this yes no 0 1 so it will be broken. Uh, it will be broken into two columns, seventh as well as eighth. So the ultimate next column on which uh, one hot encoding needs to be applied is the ninth column. And again, also, df one this df one three dot unique if you give there are two options so this nine once once we apply the one hot encoding it will be again broken like it will be split into two more column which will ninth as well as tenth so the next uh, one hit hot encoding for the uh, column number four will be applied on tenth so let's see So you need not 10 uh, because this age column is also there. So if you can see 11001111. So this is the 11th column which is for our employment status, right? So now this will be further split into two and then there is a 13th column which is this is fifth column which is the employment type 0 to 1 so 
now we'll, it will be applied on column number 30 hot encoding so now so when we are applying hot encoding after each and every like uh, columns uh, column when we apply hot encoding the number of features will keep on increasing the number of columns in the feature will keep on increasing now you can see everything is like uh, one hot encoding is applied and now my data is ready to be uh, input into the, to the sampling where the, where we'll use a train test split uh, which will be imported from sklm so now this is a very important step in achieving the uh, good accuracy when we are uh, doing machine when we are uh, running machine learning algorithms and very important feature to note is even if we know like uh, our uh, column 0 2 3 4 5 are the ones which uh, where we need to apply the hot encoding if we directly write here 0 2 3 4 5 and run everything in a single shot then we then we uh, the error uh, the we will not be able to get the exact result like the way which we have got now so you can try and and experience how what is the difference when we are applying it in one shot like this is the If you execute it together like you not now now it is already transformed in the beginning before we apply the very first hot encoding step you will not be able to get the exact result what i will do i will create uh, i'll execute it once more from here till till level encoding and till here and i will make i will mention this whatever we are applying right okay same thing here shift m i'll mention it as feature one Now in this way we will continue this and uh, we'll execute it separately. Okay. What we'll do? We'll execute from the top and uh, we will be uh, executing it till uh, label encoding will be the same. Okay. Okay. Before this, till here. Okay. Now, what is my features? Feature one and feature is this is the same. So what? Now, because we we know now after uh, executing, uh, when we apply the uh, hot encode on the first column, it will be split into six, and the next uh, column that needs to be uh, where we need to apply the hot encode is seven. So we know this. So we'll execute it. Control enter. What is the feature now? Okay, and we have this in our now. What about this 
if we apply here directly because these are the columns where we control enter now we'll compare features as well as feature one first of all you see the number of uh, column difference in the column and feature uh, and feature one and the second thing is you see see in all this in the last the column which is at the last uh, which is the employment type uh, we are not able to apply the feature uh, one hot encoding so this is the drawback of uh, not drawback this is the error we will face if we apply it on the column name rather than step by step so you have to be very uh, like uh, cautious and you have to be very uh, uh, you have the play it with the precision so that you are not doing any mistake so thanks a lot for uh, viewing this session uh, if you feel this video is helpful please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel in the next session i'll be coming up with uh, the process of uh, sampling how we will do uh, divide our train and test data set and how we will uh, uh, use a random state and the other features while doing the sampling so and also like uh, later on we'll also be uh, working on machine learning algorithm how to get a exact accuracy so thanks a lot for viewing the session if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section thank you